The US loves its guns. Almost everyone will have heard the feel-good propaganda that as the most armed nation on earth, America is impossible to invade. Now that would make sense if you're talking about an easily identified land army wearing uniforms, but here in 2024, America is probably the most invaded country in the world. There are 11 million illegal migrants in America right now, with 2.3 million of them entering under Biden. Watch this. I came out before midnight. There were dozens of these migrants from all around the world who are camping out here with fires. It's chilly out here. Again, waiting for Border Patrol to pick them up. This is right off of Interstate 8 out here uh, in San Diego County, a main thoroughfare. Uh, there was not a single Border Patrol agent out here for hours when I was out here. All these people waiting to be picked up, uh, some from China, some from Turkey, some from Central America. They were just waiting. Here's some of what they had to say when I talked to them. Take a listen. Where are you guys from? Turkey. 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 Where are you guys from? De donde son? Ecuador. Ecuador. Where are you guys from? China. 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 What city in the U.S. do you want to go to? Oh, oh, uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, L.A. Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, they're not exactly fleeing the, to the nearest country of safety. They've come from Turkey or China. Now, how does a nation like America survive under this kind of pressure? Because things aren't going well for the Democrat sanctuary cities. No, no, that's right. It's really interesting, too, that the uh, that, uh, Mexicans traditionally are the, 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 the asylum seekers who are trying to cross. Uh, in December last year, it actually broke records. It was something like uh, 250,000 migrants in December last year tried to cross the, the southern border of the US. Uh, it reduced to about 124,000 in January. Um, but it's really interesting because there's been a sharp increase in Venezuelan refugees almost, I, I suggest, probably economically, of some 47 7,000 and about 6,000 Chinese migrants as, as well. But uh, if you actually look at the some uh, surveys done by the Pew Research Centre, they're, they're saying that 8 in 10 US adults say that the government's doing a, a very or somewhat bad job dealing with a large number of migrants. Uh, and it, it's nearly as many say the situation is a crisis, which is some 45% or a major problem, 32% for the US. So obviously the US people are not real happy with this. And I think it's a major failure on the part, particularly of the Biden administration, uh, it, it, it creates chaos. I, I, I think it's, uh, it, it's a bit like our own situation with the stopping the boats here. It creates a false uh, sense of um, security for people risking their lives to move to these sorts of places. And you're quite right. I mean, if they're travelling that sort of distance, it's not really about getting away from a, a particular threat where they could easily do that much closer to home. It, it seems to be more about the US has become a target for uh, uh, people movers and others because of the, the, the way they've been so lax in their, their approach to border security. Oh, what wasn't included in that video was the reality that so many of these migrants bring with them drug trafficking trades, including fentanyl, which is a disaster for the US, and that zombie drug that's turning their cities into these weird post-apocalyptic scenes. I mean, they've even got in Democrat-run sanctuary cities, they're kicking the uni students out of their accommodation to make way for migrants. And there was one uh, incident the other day where they closed a special needs school so they could house migrants there. And still the Democrats think, oh, yeah, this is totally fine. Nothing could, you know, go wrong with this.